Yeah, yeah, no, so you have to just give her a breakdown. If we got that two million, half of it goes to Len's mom. <laughs> <laughs> wow, She's the guys. motipe of this show. <laughs> Please, <laughs> what is this episode? K one oh seven or one oh eight? Just write the <laughs> lens, mum. <laughs> ah, yo. We are here, man. We should have had it for our hundred guests. <laughs> Fuck, boy. <laughs> Let's mom. <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Indra, very many. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, boy? Hey, guess what, ghost lady? Yeah, boy. What happened? Uh, remember last week we said we wanted to do a, a song for the intro. Okay. Like we want to make the intro a song. Yeah. Guess who's jumped on board? Wow. Who? Ginger Trill. Oh, nice. He's gonna bless us with a verse, man. Yo, is this the beat? Is this the beat? This is the beat, the bro. First rapper in I this country. I wanna hear this. I wanna hear this. Well. Verified. Oh yeah. On Twitter. And he also won uh, lyricist of lyricist the year. of the year, the essay hip hop award. Oh, the hip hop award. Yeah. Oh, well done. Well Trilly. done. Well done. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Oh man, that's gonna be nice. Ah man, dope song, dope song, dope, dope beat, dope beat, dope beat. Which other rappers do you think we should ask for a verse? Hmm. To jump Nadia in. Nadia Nakai. Ah, come on, aren't we over that now? Okay. No, but this is for to jump in. We're not saying no, no, no. We're not interviewing the girl. It's, we've accepted that <laughs> yeah, that ship has failed. Just give us a verse. <laughs> just give us a verse. What about know? younger, younger? Yeah, younger. Ooh. Younger chief. Mm. And if you can just do it in 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 in, in, in uh, what is it? Kosa. You know who I think will not do this beat justice. Who? Casper. Ah, uh, why? Why are you doubting your boy? Ah, no, I love, I love, I love my boy. I do. Mm-hmm. But this beat is beyond him. Yes. It's beyond him. It's beyond him. But if he feels is this he is can, this a way of is this a way of you challenging him? If he feels he can do better on the beat, uh-huh. go for it. Mm. But I don't okay. think he will do it justice. Hey, are you gonna drop a first voice? I Ghost will. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm actually after the show. I'm gonna be like, guys, give me the beats. Hey. I'm Casper because I'm a ghost lady. Hi. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, well, let's see if I do Casper's <laughs> version. Hey. hey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, shout out to Voltrex for the beat, man. What a crazy oh. beat. That's dope. It's no, Ginger's nice. going. No, Ginger's gonna do this beat justice, bro. Right? Do you think this beat can kill piano? <laughs> ah no, I think it can. Ah, no, 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 Why fuck it? Why Relax yourself. Why it's hot. You're getting too excited. <laughs> anyway, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. <laughs> back yeah, man. What it's another mean? episode. It's another episode. Welcome back. Mean, welcome back. Welcome back. It's what do you mean? What week? do I mean? Why would you say welcome back? Well, okay. <sighs> Can't well, be, have we been here 24-7? <laughs> Maybe in Len's eyes, we've been doing the <laughs> Guinness, ch- Guinness World Record Already. Challenge. Eh? <laughs> that's 41 hours, apparently. Okay, yeah. so that's yeah. why we're saying welcome mm, back. Because we never did that 41 hours. What do you guys want to talk about, man? Shit, I don't know what's going on in the world, man. What do you guys want to talk about? What do you want to talk about, Ghost Lady? What do I want to talk about? Mm? What do you want to talk about? Oh, like Party like, plans. Party plans? Oh, oh party shit! Plans. Fucking hell. Speaking about Are parties. topic. Um... PSA, 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 PSA. Yeah. yeah. You know what, what does PSA that mean? Is? Hmm? Public service this announcement. Oh, I had such a good day, mm-hmm. and then my day just got spoiled. Yeah. Just before we started recording, I got a call from the lady who's uh, was organizing M Tone Jennifer's for us yeah. to do the scoop of the year party, end of year function, whatever. This is the woman, same woman that you've been talking to all these times, right? Yeah. 
for the, even the previous events. And unfortunately, we have to change venues. Wow. Yeah. Why? We don't have to change venues. We don't have a venue. Yeah, we don't have a venue. And, and the party's on? Sunday. S- Sunday. This Sunday. Yeah. All because someone wants to be greedy. Yeah. Yeah. Threw us under the bus. Mm-hmm. Fucked the last up. Minute. That's somebody being that lady. Yes. Mm. Okay. Can I tell you, the, 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 can I give you a backstory Please of this? Please give us the backstory. So, first party we did, the pool party, was at Mtonjin. We saw the place, we're like, oh, this is a nice place, we want to do a party. We spoke with her. First question we asked her was, yo, is loud, is loud music allowed? Loud. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, no problem, you can go until three in the morning, four in the morning. We're like, are the cops going to come and shut us down? No, don't worry about that, it's all sorted. Sharp. All right, we do the party. Yeah. Uh, this whole time we're thinking we're getting the place for free, mm-hmm. and then we get there. Uh, we had uh, the slush guy, the mobile bar, the the catering lady. The catering lady. Oh, everyone was there. The bouncers are there. Yeah. Last minute they're like, "Oh, it's 4K." How? So I called my banner because my banner is the one who introduced me to her. Yeah. So I'm like, "Hey, chief, they're saying 4K here. We didn't know about this." And then, Lord, <laughs> thank goodness for his mother. They sent him the money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, guys! Wow. So his wow. mother sent him the 4K. Wow. We we're able to pay same time. So we had a whole a whole pool party sponsored by Lensman. Lensman, yes. oh, yeah. Because wow. the lady was like uh, the owner of the place mm. was like, "No, you guys can't do a party unless you pay." And we're already there. Everybody's there. So Len sorts out the money. Cool. We pay them. Boom. Uh, what time did we close? Eight nine. No, 10, they 10 o'clock. Tell, they said, Hore, by 9 already mm, telling us that. No, at the 9 music they said the music loud. must go down. The yes. Must go down. Yeah. Yeah. Sharp. That happens. I remember when you were playing, they were, tra- they were literally shutting us down. There. Yes. Okay, cool. That happens. Uh, so after that, we give the lady a call. We're like, ah, what happened? Because you said 2 3. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, I wasn't expecting so many people. We've never had that big of a crowd. Blah, 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 blah. And then subsequent to that, she says, next party, I'll make it up to you guys. I'll give you a discount. Oh, wow. We're like, ah, cool, sharp, fed. Okay. You know? And then we call a l- when we started planning Obviously, this. Yeah, two weeks yeah. ago, I think. Two, two three weeks, weeks ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. We're like, yo, we want to do another party on the first of uh, 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 December. First of December. Mm-hmm. She sends us new price lists. So we're like, how? Since when are the new price lists now? I mean, we just did a party last week. Exactly. Now there's new price lists. And then where's the discount? Yeah, and yeah. these price lists are astronomical. Like yeah. she's talking about twelve k, fifteen k. Wow! Yeah, okay. Hundred thousand. It's like a weekend, a weekend prices, weekday prices kind of vibe, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we're like, nah, dude. Remember, you now said it's like a whole wedding venue now. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and nobody's getting married. You yeah. know. So we're like, yo, dude. Not so can we anyway. pay? Can we pay the fee that we paid last time? Mm-hmm. She's like, okay, cool. You guys can pay the old fee. Mm-hmm. One one sharp. Now. Last week, she comes out and she sends an invoice. Now the n- invoice is 9000 Oh. And the old price that's, was 4000 That's the old fee. Yeah. Yeah. She agreed we can pay the old fee. I can't yeah. have new fees. Yeah. Like, can we pay the old fee? Yeah. Well, I want. She says now it's 9000 So we're like, ah, dude, we don't have 9000 mm. I mean, you can see. We are my banners. How? We can't even afford sneakers. <laughs> no, I, I, I can. Hey. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, guys, this is Hong Kong. Please, right now we can't afford nothing. <laughs> By the way, these sneakers have Bluetooth. Where have you ever? Buy a tracker, Len. Buy a tracker. So now she's coming with Thank 9K. You ma- Thank you, mother. Oh, yeah. His mother bought him there as well. <laughs> 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 Mommy, where, where's our piece? <laughs> privilege, Ow. guys. I, 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 it's no. privilege. So now she says it's 9K. Okay. All right. So we're telling her, listen, we don't have 9K. Mm. Okay. Can we like meet you halfway? Is mm. there anything we can do? I don't know. You know, because you promised us a discount. Yeah. And we budgeted for 4K. Mm. We've already uh, 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 started promoting this thing. Mm-hmm. You know, Scoop is willing to come and mm. he's got a radio show that day. Not willing to come. He is he's coming. coming. He's coming. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? He's booked and ready. So for you to throw this curveball on the last minute mm-hmm. is a bit unfair. Yeah. So we called her today. We spoke to her for about 30 minutes mm-hmm. before we started recording. Mm. We're like, is it possible for us to pay you 4K and then another. 4K or 5K after the event. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe depending from the cooler box money. I don't exactly. Know. Because we're not making money from yeah. this. Hence, we're not even charging people to come. Yeah. You come with your cooler box. Yeah. You know, you pay 50 bucks. There's no entrance fee. It's just a party for chillers. We're not trying to make money. Yeah. We're not promoters. You get what I'm saying? Mm. 
Shil Arno. Wow. Yeah. What do we do now? And this is the thing. We're trying to support another black person. Exactly. Yo, uh, Did you know about Umtonjeni uh, before we told you? Never. Asambe, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. You know? I and I told her, I'm like, dude, we've given you so much publicity that if it was other clients, we'd be charging them to advertise their place. Exactly. We haven't even charged you a cent. But don't you think, though, and I think I was having this conversation with uh, somebody this past weekend, who are the reason why, as black people, we don't flourish mm. is because we are our own worst enemies. Enemies, yeah. Greed. Greed. Because Greed. What, because what we do is, we don't have the spider, the spider web doctrine mm. or doctrine, mm. or whichever way you say it, in that Indian people hook Indian people up. Yeah. White people hook white people up. Yeah. Chinese. Chinese people hook Chinese people up. Yeah. Black people, we like, ah, mm -mm. You got you know, a G63 you know, for tech. You know what this tells me? For instance, right? Basically, when you guys started talking about the event from the first time for the pool party, mm. I'm, tr I'm looking from this perspective that this woman clearly thought these guys are not going to succeed. Mm -hmm. This event will happen, won't happen. Mm. That's why she had then the audacity that day when she sees people coming in like, okay, whoa, this party is happening. Oh, oh, all right, let me charge, mm. you know? So it's like, it's that thing of you have to gauge the crowd in order then to now charge or have put a price to it. It's There's greed. It's greed. Course, ladies, it's greed. greed. Because what happens and is that the first party... So stupid. The first party was so successful. Yeah. And she's thinking, we made a shitload of money. We yeah. didn't make We didn't a, make anything. Who was paying? No one was I, paying. Len's mother. Exactly. Len's mother. Len's mother yes. paid the 4,000. Yes. We didn't pay. We didn't make anything. You know? And the, the is main Is your mom aim. on pension? <laughs> Imagine... <laughs> No, nah, she's not. Okay. Mm. But I, I, for the sake of the podcast. She's on pension. She's on pension. Yeah. So what I think happened, she's like, all right, these guys, they made money. Yeah. Now I need to make money. And hence she's saying uh, f 9K. She's, she's, now she's so basically I'm guessing, to steal from a pension. I'm guessing it's still 4K. She's probably going to give the owner 4K. Yeah. And then pocket the rest. Because she's thinking, oh, I must also make something out of exactly. this. Exactly. And, and that all time we're we trying to do we, is we not support black business. Do you know how many people called me and said, yo, can we use that venue? Wow. There was a DJ maestro. Yeah. He's like, I've got an event coming. I like the venue. Can we use it? We're and like, yeah, go ahead. And you give her the her contacts, right? You get what I'm saying? Because so mm. this whole platform uh, is about putting black people on. That's why we have Black Friday. Yeah. Mm. So, so now, look at this now. After she's been winning through the show, she wants to come back and like almost shit on the hand. That kind of helped her. Now we don't have a party. Hey. Don't piss on the thing. So what do we do? Are we going to get a new venue? Because there's we need three a new venue. There's three venues that are up for grabs. Ne? Okay. There's the one at Fox Street in town. So Remember when we did the 20K party? Ne? Yeah. Yeah, it was a 20K party. 20K yeah. party. Yeah. We can do one there, but there's no pool. Let's geese. <laughs> <laughs> Can't swim. You can only swim in gin. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and then there's Monte Casino Parkers. We can do Parkers. Oh, Monte Cassido. Yes. Mm. Nice. And then there's another venue, which is like a guest house hotel in Bedford. But you see, my issue is... Bedford View. Mm. My, my, my thing is... sounds a bit far-ish. My thing is, we try to support black business. Mm -hmm. mm. But black business is pissing on, on us. us. Now we have to go to Parker's. Mm. White support business. white business. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, uh, let you us know in the comments. Welcome. Yeah, it's it's your party, guys. Yeah, you let us know where you where, 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 where do you, you want, want it. We've got Fox Street, it. we've got Parkers, and we've got Bedford View. Whatever you guys decide, if you decide we want it, we should cancel it. We will cancel it. Yeah, and do it next year. But it's all up to you guys. Because I was really looking forward to it, man. It was it was going to be like a nice send off, mm. nice end to the year. Mm. You know. Oh, should we call Lynn's mom right now? <laughs> 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 Recoup 9,000. But fuck him, Tonjeni. <laughs> fuck him, Tonjeni. I'm never going back there. You can suck my yeah. dick. Fuck it, man. I was so mad, dude. I was so <laughs> mad. Yeah. Like, dude, just they be honest. It, it really killed my vibe. That wasn't right, man. Just they be can... honest from the get-go. Uh. If you want money, just be honest. Yeah. Because we would have said, all right, dude, we don't have money. And be straightforward about your, about your business. Dude, don't play. I have the, don't I have play. the chats. I can show you the chats. Yeah. I can show you the chats. I also have the chats. You understand? Mm. 
But don't kill my vibe though. Now I had my year end today. Is it? How was yeah. it? Oh, wow. No. You are killing my vibe. Your energy is off. And you want to stay happy. Yeah, I want to stay We want a year end. We also want a year end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, podcast, you guys. <laughs> now I had, I had a year end. Go waterfall. Yo, dude. So what happened? Sleep queens are the thing, eh? Oh, oh you're only realizing now? Yeah. So, people were literally posing for pictures. You know, by the polo fields. Go waterfall. Yeah. Ne? Like, but we were literally posing like a girl was literally like on the grass. I it's uh posing there on mm. some like and we're chilling there because it's like obviously work thing and it's colleagues and whatever and we're chilling and how do you know she's a slay queen? Yeah, how do you know? What are you doing at Waterfall K twelve and you're drinking champagne? What uh, are you doing? What you are you doing? Yo. No, I went uh, to a year and function. So she's probably she's, got a year yeah, as well. Yeah. Bali too. Hey, yeah. It's maybe like a, just a midday year and function. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they have a YouTube channel you as know. well. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that's please. The, and that's the year and, and function. Nigga, How? please. Because them ton journey is 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> Waterfall is just... <laughs> Yeah. Mm-mm. No, 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 Mm-mm. no, 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 no. Mm-mm. It was weird, actually. Yeah. Yeah, like the, 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 the. Okay, but so what made her a slay queen, though? The way they were posing. Dress code? Uh-huh. Tell us, how how were they dressed? Take notes, girls. Take notes. Banavakin said the, the what, what? Okay. So, f- f- uh, mini skirt. No, it was like hot kanake, pants, hot pants. The kanake man, the onesie. Oh, the onesies, onesie, the short ones. Oh, kanake. Okay. One piece, man. One kanake piece. Yes, yes, that There's one. There's a name so for it. So if you wear a onesie, you're a slay queen. No. But I get onesies for the so, s- for sleep. Please queen. tell me on a Monday, at two o'clock in the afternoon. It's like a romper. You're wearing heels, and you're wearing a one <sighs> piece. And you are taking Lenez pictures. Are undermine. Yes, are undermine. So as a girl, I cannot go out on a Monday with a Yo. friend of mine wearing heels and a onesie. And we just have champagne. And then you're 12. posing on the grass. Yes, because I want to. Because I want to. Where polo is played. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Shut That's up. like saying with this haircut, you're a fuck boy. Are you a fuck boy? You know? Well. You need to <laughs> <stop. laughs> <laughs> Well. Oh, guys, I must tell you, I had a groovy moment. Oh, yeah. nice. So, I could have got black coffee on my WhatsApp. Okay. So, I always text him. So, like, when he uploaded his um, picture with Drake, I'm mm-hmm. like, hey, king, leadership. <laughs> but he always blue takes me, never okay. replies. So, this weekend, he posted a, a status. Mm-hmm. I think he was in Kailam with his kid or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, yeah, with the Kailami 9, whatever thing, thing, yeah. thing with the, yeah. So, I text him. And he responded. Yeah, he <laughs> Did you screenshot him? No, I didn't. That I just blue ticked him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's your own blue ticker. <laughs> but I had a groupie moment. Hey, WhatsApp comes in black off. I'm like, hey, shit. Black off, you responded. And then I looked at the message. I'm like, I'll nah. respond. <laughs> later. 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 But I had a groupie moment. That's crazy, man. It's not my kind of coffee. I back to send that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, who would you so go... Cool. Who would you do that for? Like, who's the most famous person you have on your WhatsApp? On my WhatsApp? None. Mm. Mick oh. G. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I won. And I blue tick him all the time. <laughs> Just like um, Tonjen who's on Gompor. <laughs> Gompor. <laughs> Well, we're going to make them famous, so they might just be the most famous. <laughs> Shittiest lodge of you all know. time. Yeah. Anyway, Len, you? Who's the most famous? Person? Jeez. Really? Yeah. Really? You're going to ask me that? Yeah. Fuck, man. Who? Tatumwing doesn't count. Mutsidisi doesn't count. She's family. Both of them are. Ginger doesn't count. Shit. Fikile Mbalula. You got him? Yes. <gasps> Does he respond to your WhatsApp? Sometimes. You know whose number also I could have gotten yesterday? Uh, I could have gotten. Ah, gotten. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Me lose it, guys. Ah. Do you want it in your mouth? Ah, uh, see, that's the problem. <laughs> I had touched thoughts, then I was like, ah, no. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I had to. 
Oh, big shout out. We had Ghost Lady in his house yesterday. Uh, son was celebrating his birthday. Oh, yeah. man. I saw uh, Len, a.k.a. Leo, a.k.a. Leonce, come out in full play. Wow. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> Actually, what did I do? So we walk in, right? So um, all the guys were chilling at the back. Yeah. And I'm talking like men, like real men. You know, men that have families. <laughs> You can tell his bond has been paid off. <laughs> I don't even have a bond. <laughs> you know? And as soon as he walked in, the whole room yeah. was fixated on Lynn. Wow. Yeah. Because it was a guy wearing a Pirates shirt and he was wearing a Chiefs shirt. Okay. So he started off, uh, uh, started off the um, conversation yeah. with soccer and whatever. Yeah. And then we started talking about politics. And that's when I realized that's why I don't care about politics. Because when we left, they were sad. Because we realized, oh, fuck, it's black people who don't own shit in this country. Oh, man. We're renting in our own country. <laughs> why did you go there? So, <laughs> up. Because everybody was listening to you. And you were going on. It felt like podcast and chill. Wow. With lead. With lead. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just brought out the lights. <laughs> started setting up mics. We must change uh, the brandy. Yeah. <laughs> How no, how but I was making sense, though. You were there. How did it start? It started with Patrice Mutip, eh? Oh. Owning the uh, Blue Bulls. Uh, no, n- not owning. Mm. He bought a 37% stake. So him and Johan Rupert are co-joint majority stakeholders Holders in the Blue Bulls. the Blue Bulls. Yes. Damn. So that's where it started. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, cool. Like, Then I asked the question. Who actually runs this country? Mm. And then we concluded it was Johan Rupert. Yeah. yeah. And oh, the Stellenbosch Mafia. A- Ackerman and everybody in Stellenbosch, yes. Yeah. Mm, shame. And then, yeah. We, Not were, shame. we, we were literally having a good time inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but we don't, we don't, like, in as much as, like, we think we do, we don't. Mm-hmm. Um, the country is run from Stellenbosch. Uh, what, but okay, why are you depressing us? Why, why, oh, why it's why depressing this you know, No, but it's, it's the truth. The thing it's, is, when you, you see, find and, out the truth... And, oh, and, and that's a problem in that we, when we get to that conversation, we say, oh, it's depressing. And then you're going to go back to being no, the hamster I, I, on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a on a hamster wheel type yeah, of thing. Yeah. Tomorrow type. Like we... We, we we don't we we and we are our worst enemies. I would like to just focus on the fact that Patrice like Motsipe Umtonjin has got thirty seven percent. Who? I'm just saying Patrice Patrice Motsip. Yeah. He's got thirty seven percent. I'd rather just ride on that Troy. So Patrice is thirty seven, mm-hmm. Johan Rupert is thirty seven, and uh the Blue Bulls company has mm-hmm. I think twenty four. Yeah. If you calculate it and it gets to a hundred. Mm-hmm. So But that, that's nothing to be celebrated because within him having that thirty seven percent, he's gonna do nothing for blacks. For us normal no, people. Oh sometimes I'm s it's 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 just good to know that someone of my skin colour is there and has got that share. But that's what, that, what that, that same person. What does yeah. he that do? That same for person you? No. does nothing for you. But that's the thing. That's the thing. Sometimes we need to stop getting so Check. lost on wh- what's in it for me. For the fact that you know what, then just be motivate your own self to get your own share. Because sometimes we cannot, if the whole country is saying the same thing, that's millions of us. What if he can't help all millions, but he can help his family and his family is like a hundred. So you know what, there's a hundred people, hundred black people who are being helped from that 37%. But no, you know, you know, that is but I think what, but, I think what you, you know, need to realize is... What you need is, to realize at, at, at your party, um, something that Patrice did was directly affected to someone that was your party mm. when he bought that bank. Time bank. Oh, Time bank. Yes. The guy was saying, Patrice retrenched us. Mm. He's like, I'm retrenched now because of Patrice. Patrice mm. bought the bank and then he went to Indonesia. Where was it? Vietnam. Indonesia. Yeah. Vietnam. Vietnam, Indonesia. Somewhere Whatever. There. And then he was retrenched. So it just goes back to the point. He's just looking out for himself. Because it may, there's a lot of people who are retrenched by that. Yes. Black people. Yes. It so did Cyril? Happen. It did happen. No, but what but if now him having this share in the with blue bulls, now it's going to maybe there's gonna open doors for black people. Which what will if? which black people that's the what thing. If? Th- that's the thing. We are closing black people are closing each other's doors. Like look at him Tinjin, for example. <laughs> 
She's closed the doors. We for can't black use, people, yeah. We can't use that venue. We yeah. don't have a party and anymore. last time, we had over 100 people coming through. But we can't use it. Who's closing it? It's a, a black, black person. A black person. Mm. Exactly. So what, what, what we're trying to say is that the same p- black people that you applaud and look up to and admire and adore. I like are the how you ones just change that all and just take it back to the Tonji. They, they're closing the channels but mm. you know for what it all is. of us. But you know what it is, Nip? No, um, no, that's true. Because he doesn't want you to be a clever black like he is. You know well, what it why is? Would he, why would you say that? No. Black lead. Look at a black lady. Black lady. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so here's our thing, right? Yeah. When we look in the mirror, we don't like what we see back. Mm. And we try put that down. Mm. Ne? To a point whereby... Tell me of a black person prominent that has put another p- black person up. Tell me. We'll wait. How many times people are thanking one another? Hmm? Tell I'm me. I'm just saying, how many times do you hear people thanking one another? Empty got fucked by a black record company label. Okay. Global citizen, where was all that money? We had global citizen. Yes, I did go. Every five minutes, there were billions being thrown around. Mm. Hey, we're going to donate. Where is it? Yeah. Where is it? Ikai. Okay, so you're saying that black people ate that money? Well, Petris. No, not even. Uh, we, we're not Johnson saying he Mandela ate the money. Foundation. So what we're saying is, ne, uh, if, if it's not white, mm-hmm. it's not right. Mm. Mm. She didn't say that yesterday. <laughs> Buzz. <laughs> Buzz. Buzz. Basically, if it's not white, it's not right. You know, there's something that you said yesterday that was so profound. He mm-hmm. was like, nah, if us as black people, because we're the majority in this country, yeah. did not contribute to the economy at all. So we one, all, day. one day. One day. We just all one day. Didn't go to work. Nothing. Didn't go to pick and pay. Didn't use the petrol stations. Didn't do anything. We just we chilled just and did not contribute. The economy would crumble. So we don't even switch on our TVs. Yes. Zero. Zero. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. But are we going to do that? No. Why? Because there'll be that one clever black. He's going to go and open the fridge. Traffic. <laughs> Traffic. <laughs> uh, we'll I want to go to Sentin. <laughs> like, like M. Tojan is a clear example. Yeah. She is thinking, oh, fuck these guys. They're making money. Mm. Let me make money. Mm. You understand? And, the point, and we're not. And we're not. Like, we actually made a loss at that party. Yeah. Well, Len's mom did, but... The <laughs> 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 ah. mom's over. I love you, mom. Ah. Y- y- you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. We're taught so much to hate each other that, like, oh. no, but you see, and and I said this yesterday that apartheid, and she's a, she she watches the post the podcast. She's a chiller. She's bro. a chiller. This she's is a, another that's how Len chiller. hooked up with her. Yeah. So, the podcast. So can ne? we trust chillers? <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> no, our chillers are nice. She's yeah, the first are, one. Yeah. She's the first one who's like, a mug. Who's, who fucked up? So check. Um, that was not right. As as black people, ne? We don't trust each other mm. because apartheid was such a well orchestrated we system. Don't have faith in each other. No, it was apartheid was such a well orchestrated system that, mm. look, I'm not giving it credit because I'm saying, yay! It was a good thing. No, hell no. No, but it was done in such a way that it, it not because only. Because you d- can still see the results of it today. It divided us to a point mm. whereby. I'm black, he's black, mm. but he's vendor, I'm so too. And then I'm and, gonna. And that means a lot. Yes, I'm gonna be like, ah, umu vendor. It's something big. Umu so too. Mm. In, in, umu, umu zulu. Mm. Umu what what? Umu what what? It was so like Hendrik Verwood and all his people that orchestrated apartheid were so good at doing that. It made us hate ourselves. Mm. And that's what we don't get. We hate ourselves. And the thing is, the sad part is there's no light at the end of the tunnel. 
we are stuck. In we, terms of... Because we're black. In terms of the government, right? It's not going to help us. <laughs> regular programming <laughs> and so the sad part <laughs> <laughs> the sad part is there's no way forward because forward never because the government backwards ever <laughs> is not gonna help us they're all looking out for themselves mm. right yes and then as black people okay so let's start let's say you start a publication can you mm-hmm. uh, please record there uh, you call it the ghost publication. Mm. It booms. It becomes big. Yeah. Now it rivals like all the publications at Media Twenty Four. Mm. Do yeah. you know what's gonna happen? You ghost everybody. You know what's gonna happen? No, obviously I'm. They're gonna buy you out. They're gonna buy me out, or the, some out. company will try to just shut me down. And as a black person, you're gonna take the money because but that's you're pri- looking out for yourself. But you see, that's where privilege comes in. Yeah. In that you look at. Everything that happens. So let's look at the tax shop industry, for instance. Right? Oh, dude, that one is sad. So sad. You save goes into Kasi. Mm. They're like, ah, no, we're gonna rock a young Pazanyana there. You save is basically kiss Paza. Kiss Paza, yeah. Pick and Pay has gone into Kokasi and they've taken over the tax shop and mm. they've made them. A pick and pay is Paza. Yeah, they have like a mini pick and, and pay. they come to you, they're like, ah, no, uh, can I, what do you call it? When you uh, franchise, uh, like franchise, or pick and pay, whatever. Franchise opportunities. But at the end of the day, it's a case of me as a person, I am looking out for Hore. I must feed my family. Yeah. yeah. And that's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. I must feed my family. I don't think about you. Mm. So when Media 24 comes, you. you're gonna sell. Exactly. You're gonna sell. Hence, you said no to the two million. Eh? Yeah. I'm a clever black. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. A clever black would have actually taken the two million. But then there wouldn't be a podcast after that. Yeah. Vusi Tembekwai would have taken the two million. <laughs> yeah. Or was it not? But it's sad because there's no, also, also, there's no also, solution. It's sad. Also, speaking about Vusi Tembekwai, uh, because he made a, a whole thing that he stole from Seasway. Please tell me why is the taxi industry in this country not financing itself? That's the thing. There yeah. was only two things you owned. The taxi industry yeah. and, and soccer. soccer. Gone. And both of them gone. Gone. That's an industry that could have been so powerful. Which the one? The taxi industry. It is powerful. What it do you mean? It is. No, no, but, I'm saying, but, obviously, but it's owned by... It's owned by who? Yeah, That's SA Taxi problem. Industry. Remember there was a whole... Uh, and who's behind Who's behind the SA Taxi Industry? The Jewish people. Thank you. Anyway, this is depressing. You see why I left your house depressed? I didn't even notice. I thought wow. you were so happy. Anyway, so what happened to the KFC couple, guys? Is there an update with them? They're getting married on the 31st of 31st December. 31st of ah, December. Is it, are we broadcasting there? Right, ah, EWN is. But I feel like... They, Bastards. They <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like, uh, why did they choose the 31st of December? The whole of Gauteng will not be around. They want to see who's really committed. <laughs> no, they are. Well, they are. <laughs> <laughs> and the brands. <laughs> yeah. So we're not broadcasting, guys. Okay. Ah, but they didn't say... We, 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 we reached we out to them. They didn't the say anything. No, guys, but we are easy. We can just... Outside. Got tent, Nyana. You know, with our Little mobile... box. Yeah. Mm. What if they, that KFC couple are like serial killers? True. Imagine. What then? They are. <laughs> They'll go to no. jail. But then after that, why didn't we like 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 do a thorough check on them? <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> Take their fingerprints and stuff, everything. Like imagine how what will these sponsors do? I if pull they out. realize that like what I do. They'll pull out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pull out game is strong. <laughs> you never know. These guys could be scammers. <laughs> you know exactly. And you like M. <laughs> <laughs> no, true. Yeah. 
true, hey? <laughs> what if they did this on purpose? Mm. Probably this guy was probably just like, could have been a joke. <laughs> and then, when now ah. a tatty picture. He looks, like a nice, he looks like a nice guy. He's a looks like a Or oh, jealous word. Mm-hmm. What did they propose to you? Nothing. It's just At McDonald's? About it. At, at, what did they propose? No, and now it's not even proposed. Hey, speaking about marriage, Ghost Lady, are you into uh, polyamory? No, I'm not. Mm, do you know what is polyamory? Is? Do you know what that is? No. It's like a very flexible marriage. Uh, let me Google it. I don't want to get it wrong. So the chillers are like, eh, eh. It's not, it's not Kosato, it's Kodesa. Hey. <laughs> oh, snap. Do you know, in my mind, last week, I was actually thinking, in my, in my head, I was saying Kodesa. Polyamory uh, is the practice or desire for intimate relationships with more than one partner. Mm-mm. One woman is enough. Yo. Why, though, Len? Why? Why would you say that? Why is one woman enough for you? Imagine having two dinners. But just for the mm, sake of... She's fine. She's, uh, she's enough. Okay. One is enough. Okay. Mm-mm. So as a married person, Ghost Lady, would you allow your husband to have another partner? And you know of it, and he knows of it. No, I wouldn't. At all. Would you have another partner? There's no need for it, one. Would you? Ah, okay. I, I obvious. Feel, I feel like a yes. <laughs> <laughs> obvious. Obvious. We know. Uh, we know. There's we enough have... of me to go around. <laughs> 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 I actually prefer that, man. It's, I think it's better than cheating. Okay. Because then I know what I'm getting myself into. Yeah. Well, when, rather you tell me, ah, baby, I'm just going to go in your bar. Okay, let me ask <laughs> you. Tepo. I'll be back. <laughs> let me, so you're going to go in your bar? No. Oh, okay. Sharp. Would I, you also I, be fine with her? I, well, that's where I was going. They were, that's but I just said, I just gave you an example. Like, yeah. I'd be fine with her saying, listen, get a mic. I'll be okay. back in just a bit. Is it? And well, then well. when I know, I'll be back in just a bit. Okay. <laughs> As opposed to cheating. So you'd be very comfortable with that? Would I'd, you? I'd be open to it. You'd be open to it? Yeah. Yeah. And it does Would not, you? That idea does not kill you as a man that... Some other man is be, is 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 sleeping what is, with my girl. Wait, what is as a man? But either way, if she's cheating, no, some other saying, man is know, busy with my you girl. You know how? That's why, Lynn, I want to I want to ask you. I want to also ask you. But if there was a benefit to you, like you can have another. Like your woman was to say, "Listen, you are free. Have another one." And I don't think accommodating to that idea. I don't think because now you are you are literally locked by the fact that hey, ah, no, she's, you guys, she, know, she's too much. Here's my point, eh? Mm-hmm. First of all, there's I nothing... don't think I'd, I'd be able to handle two women at the same time because you need to understand who really like dealing with one person already is a lot of work. Yeah, dealing with a, a one person who expects you to deal with them only is a lot of work. But if you're dealing with two person or a person who is welcoming to the idea of deal with others, if I your think... woman is already telling you, no, 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 I only want to see you on Monday, whatever you do during the week, gish up. Only Monday. I think the minute. So how you, how do you handle that? Sheba, I think the minute you go beyond one person, it's just satisfying the flesh. Okay. Yes. Personally, I think that's that's the case. Hey, but there's nothing nice nicer than chowing another man's wife <laughs> or oh, oh, girl. Hey, that thing is nice. <laughs> Have you ever? <laughs> oh, chief. <laughs> Who? <laughs> you know you don't have to deal with the stress. You just go there, handle the business, and you're out. Oh, wow. ah, there's nothing nice. And chug another man's woman. <laughs> oh, that thing is nice, Chief. Have they ever chowed your woman? Hey, that's the problem. <laughs> Back to send. <laughs> See, it's nice it's when nice you doing do it. it. Oh, it's nice. When it happens it to, to you, you. Oh, it's a different it's story. It's then a different story. story. But, um, but you see, back to your qu- like the question my, I said to you, are you able to handle the fact that when you are saying... You know what? My woman is out there being chowed by another man. How does that sit? So what I'm trying to say is that in this world that we live in, cheating is inevitable, Mm -hmm. right? Both guys and women. And women. We're all bound to cheat. More guys than women. But it's neither here or there. So I would rather you tell me Me. Mm -hmm. instead of finding out like, you know, via a chiller subscribing, hey, my moon, I was chowing you, woman. (laughs) 
but then it's not cheating anymore. <laughs> you it's know, an open relationship. <laughs> then that's more humiliating. So would you do an open relationship? I'd be open to it. I think I'd rather know the truth yes, and know yes. what I'm dealing with. Okay. Rather than think, hey, I'm out there, you know, at the pool party. Hey, guys, this is my woman. <laughs> Can't do the whole of the chillers are there. <laughs> the last to know <laughs> <laughs> you get what i'm saying it's <laughs> our woman <laughs> <laughs> go on Hage, it's fine the things you were showing me yesterday hey. oh, man. no but like look is it is it better to what you don't know won't hurt you mm-hmm. or is it uh i would rather know i would rather know i would rather know as well i'd rather know yeah it's fine because if I find now out now, what I don't know is it's going to be bad. Exactly. Yeah. It's going to be bad. bad. Mm. Why is it bad? Because you feel humiliated. Exactly. Embarrassed. Yeah. Mm. Because at the end of the day, I feel like you can say cheating is a choice. Mm. At the end of the day, you made a decision. Ah, sometimes it's, not it's like a mistake. You walk, ah, like, I mean, if you listen no one to... is walking out with a hard one. And you just like trip like, into an open vagina. No, oh, sure. it doesn't happen. No, you don't know what There's happened a to me thought. today. Ah, oh, shame. <laughs> if you listen Slay to Slay Queens <laughs> on the grass, I went and said, "It's okay. Confess." <laughs> <laughs> if you listen to 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 rap music or hip hop, ninety percent of the lyrics is like, "I oh, fucked your bitch." Mm. I was with your girl last night. So do you think all those lyrics are like in people's heads to the point that they actually start living that in their realities? Have you? No, I'm trying to prove that there's nothing worse as a guy than someone else chowing your mm, girl. Okay. So that's why like in hip hop, if I say I fucked a girl last night, there's mm-hmm. nothing more um like uh, what's it called? Tupac uh, Tupac uh, um, hit him up. Fuck your bitch in the clip. Emasculating. Yes. Oh, okay. There's nothing more emasculating. Yes. So than yes. saying, "Hey, boy, I was telling you." Right. So, <laughs> so, but if I know, I'm like, yeah, I know. She told me. Yeah. And Kishab. What matter happen? Baby, it's a man. Omo je flat. No, but it, I've been no, but, a but, lot of but, guys but it's, who are I, 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 don't th- so I don't think it's nice, man. You wouldn't it's, be the first. It's not nice, but it's just about, you know, containing it. Yeah, you wouldn't you know, be the first. Having control. Contain yourself. Because <laughs> I did watch, like you'd find, uh, there was this other show I was watching, and this woman has two boyfriends, or has a boyfriend and a husband, and they live in the same household. She'll be there, bye-bye, baby, mwah. And the other one, mwah. are they white? Oh, no, yeah. Well, okay. they are white. Ah, <laughs> and enough, those relationships so would you last be longer. No, and they, they, were, really, they were making it mm. as a... As but a, I still a, say, Hore, like... A threesome, <laughs> I don't know. Sure, but I, and I, they've I, got I, these rules, like, they'll not have a threesome. Sure, I think they'll the sleep e- separately and stuff. I think in the era of feminism and what, what, and no, I am not speaking down on you guys, please don't come for me. Um, There's no way you're going to have more than one partner. You can only do that if you lie about the other one. No, no, Lynn. Why are you saying? There's no way a man is going to accept a woman having no, two partners. There's no... So, it's a... It's, it's, and there's also a gender thing that comes into it, right? A girl can have two partners. Mm-hmm. Chances are they, 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 they're not going to know. No, but we're talking in an instance here now. Okay, sharp. Because you I said can there's have, no way. I just want you to elaborate on that I'm point. I'm saying, Hore, there's no way that as Len... Then oh, you're talking for I can have Yes, I can have two partners and say, baby, uh, meet my other girlfriend. And she's going to be like, never. No, no but there are women wrong. who are very accepting yeah, of that. They're like, no. I know if you're going to cheat, so yeah, will I. Exactly. But are you going to be okay with that? But you're going back to what we're, we're saying. saying. No, but I'm saying, Hore, even at the inception of saying, Hore, okay, cool. I have two girlfriends or three or four or five. It's not going to, you're not Kim Swati chief. But that, no. You are not King Swati. You are not King Swati. Len, we're in an age where there's been so much things that have been, we've had to come to learn. New, like people's sexualities and having. Uh, it's has no a, has just, a woman cheated on you? I don't know. Mm, it was. But I just said I don't know. Mm. And if she were? 
I don't know because I've never been put in that situation. Yeah, let's say you found out today that she's been cheating on you. Ah, uh, shit happens. Hmm. Tell me, is it better for you if your woman is with another woman? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Not to be with you. <laughs> 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 I think you're thinking from a perspective, oh, let, us, let her join. Weak, eh? Eh? It means you are weak. Uh, Rather. So you'd, okay, prefer your woman cheating with a woman or with a man? Ah, I don't know. I don't nah, know. Either or. Cheating is cheating. Ah, she okay. can be. It's a good thing my woman doesn't watch this thing. <laughs> I'm putting ideas in her head. <laughs> No, but cheating is so cheating. So it's easier to swallow if it's a woman. Hey! No. What is she swallowing? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, ni abu, Zanji. Oh, I didn't see that coming. All right, cool. We're going to play <laughs> game. <laughs> hey, we're going to play Assuming game. Assuming somebody does. Um, Yeah. All right, we're going to play a game, man. We need a game. <laughs> Since we're coming... Aish, next coming. week, ne? <laughs> <laughs> next week, I don't think I can record on Monday. Because mm-hmm. it's my son's birthday. Oh. So we're planning a small birthday party for him in Rustenburg. Nice. And then we're going to go to uh, Sun City. Mm. We can so. record in Sun City. Are you guys going to come? We can. Will you come, Goslid? When? On Monday. On Monday. I get his birthday on the 2nd of December. Mm-hmm. So we're going to do a small gathering in the morning, mm-hmm. afternoon, and then we're going to take him to Sun City. On Monday? Monday, yeah. Yeah, on we Monday. can record on Monday. Are you serious? Yeah, Monday evening. We can leave here at about four. For real? Mm. Oh, By okay. six, we'll be there. Yeah. yeah. Serious, you will record that side? Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Because I was the, thinking then we'll record on Tuesday instead of Monday. Because Mon- Tuesday I'll be back. Is there Mton Jenny in Sun City? Because it all suck. <laughs> Anyway. Okay, cool. So since we coming closer and closer to the end of the podcast this year, I want to see how well you guys know the podcast. I'm gonna tell you an episode, and you must tell me how many views you think it has. Oh no. Ne. Oh, all right. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Yeah. Uh, Capo, how many views do you think it has? Fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. You guys ready? Mm. I told you I didn't watch that episode, by the way. I'm oh, so guessing. you watched it? You Did you watch it? No, now? I didn't. I'm just guessing. Is it? Mm. Okay. 9,000. 9,000? Oh, uh, okay. 19. <laughs> ah, you're close. 18,000. Good. 18,000. That's pretty good, actually. No, but you just gave her a clue, Mona. How? No. Because no. she said 8,000, and you're like, 18. <laughs> so you gave her a clue. Uh, J something. J something is sitting on 35 ish. You go, Slay? I'd say 18 ish. 15,000. Mm-hmm. I thought it would have been more, eh? Because it's been out for like three months or something, eh? Mm. Is it? Yeah. Something's missing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shimza. Maybe something is cooking. <laughs> Shimza is in the 50s. You go, Slay? I'd say. 20. Why are you t- tweaking your hair? 25,000. 25,000. 25, yeah. wow. Shit, I thought that would have been more as well, eh? Shim says that 25. But it was not a... The thing, I think oh, the reason there's why... No yes, there's no there's visuals. There's no visuals. Oh, yeah. I agree mm. you, my Bernard. <laughs> it's an actual podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's an actual podcast this time. <laughs> Kaya Zanga. Five. <laughs> Eight. 15,000. Ah, uh, <laughs> you killed me. <laughs> you killed me there. Last sorry, sorry to rain in your parade. Eh? I wrote Samuel. Keep on Samuel. <laughs> ah, we don't know. Who's Samuel? Oh, Sam Kelonzo. Hmm. Mr. So y- Mr. I can only handle one woman. Hey. <laughs> she's two women in one. Is she? <laughs> is she like Amanda Lamin? No, she's bad. Uh, How many do you think Sam Kelonzo? 35? 25, you? No, no I said 20. 35. She's 35. Twi- she's 20. 20? Yeah. You go, Slady? 35. 30,000. I'm closer. Yeah. Can I be closer to her? I get when I slala with your one woman. Some girl on so. Anyway, yeah. This has been the podcast. We are here, That's man. It. Yeah, time Yeah, we done. need a venue. Hey, Mona, we need a venue for Sunday. Yeah, I could we ask the chillers to tell us where they want it. 
We gave him, haven't you been listening, bro? <laughs> no, but I we can we him emphasize three options. it? We gave him three options. They yeah, but decide. can we emphasize? Emphasize. At this rate, this podcast must be out now. <laughs> yeah, okay, emphasize to show if you're okay. listening or not. What are the options? Uh, options is uh, Fox, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's uh, Pacas, mm-hmm. and it's Bedford View. And your mom's house. <laughs> In <Fijon's> John's Kron. <laughs> Oh, my mother must pay the nine thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. So what? La nyel. Ah, why, why? Hanini, perhaps. Give <laughs> 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 Black Friday. <laughs> yes, that nine thousand. I need it for Black Friday. <laughs> oh shit! It's Black Friday this Friday. Yes. The real Black Friday. The real one. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. you need sneakers, ne? Yeah, I'm thinking of getting sneakers. Mm. Okay, what are you getting on Black Friday? Ah, uh, nothing. Blackly. I still can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't afford. I want that fridge for thirty thousand. Uh, no. The mat one. No, it's a smart fridge, guys. The one oh, that you I, knock on. I'm thinking of getting an iPad for my son. Oh, it's for his birthday. Yeah. Nice. You know how that? much an iPad is? How much? It's about ten thousand rand. You kidding? Then you can pay for us. <laughs> <laughs> Where the bear, you <laughs> <know>. <laughs> This guy. Bring Ooh. your son like Mond. <laughs> Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you. Monday's moving to Vietnam. Monday? Yeah, he got a job there. He's going to be working s- in Vietnam, New Mexico, and California. Are you serious? Yeah, he's living in March. Oh. Listen to all those slay queens. But damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for not taking him serious. Look at you now. Eh, hey, girl? Monday's hmm? leaving us. He's leaving us. Geez. I'm sad. So he's but a- he's leaving us with the lights, though. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. And Len's mom is going to pay for the... <laughs> This podcast has been brought to you by Let's Mom. Let's mom. <laughs> <laughs> See ya, bonga ma. <laughs> Kumbulu ma. You know when Java says, my friend never understands. <laughs> yeah, guys, that line hits us. Hey, my friend again, I understand. <laughs> I'm actually going to tell her to close the tabs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this podcast is going to move forward. The way Java says, you know, uh, how an old man, you don't understand how an old man is crying for their mother. Hey! It's because... Never understand. understand. <laughs> and so cold. And so cold. And so cold. Hey, ma. Hey, Len. <laughs> Please. Don't you think it's ironic she actually calls during podcast? Yeah, because she's checking up. <laughs> she's hey, investment. investment. <laughs> <laughs> we are checking. Are you recording? <laughs> Am I lighter on? How are we doing? <laughs> How are the views? <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, no, so you have to just give her a break. If we got that two million, half of it goes to Len's mom. <laughs> Wow, She's guys. the motipe of this show. That is a bit present. Please. <laughs> what is this episode? <laughs> okay, 107 or 108. Just right there. <laughs> Len's mom. <laughs> ah, we are here, man. We should have had her for our hundred guests. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck boy <tea. laughs> Let's mom. <laughs> oh gosh, she's what we need. <laughs> uh, shit, man. I got some announcements to make. Okay. 15 December, we're going to be out in Durban, man. We've got a chillers happening in Durban. Nice. I'll give you all the details once we get it. 7th December, don't Is forget. Is my mom invited? <laughs> <laughs> she has to. <laughs> She's driving us there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh-huh. Uh, 7th December, wine tasting event, Mayor's Dal Echo Estate, 1000 bucks gets you a ticket, there's food, cheese grazing table, unlimited wine. And lens map. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the 7th of December, 15th December, we are in Durban. Uh, mm-hmm. 28th December, we're adding Lesotho. Lesotho. And my mama's going to buy us passports. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And there might be something cooking for New Year's Eve in Soweto. Oh, nice. But we'll tell you all about that yeah. in due time. In due yeah. time. If, so, if yeah. my mama agrees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, if, you sell, if you've got an old iPad you're not using, please uh, text me on the WhatsApp line. Yeah, he yeah. needs an iPad for his son. Yeah. Mm. He won't know if it's second name. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 
Should I ask my mom to buy your son an <laughs> iPad? Please. <laughs> this oh, episode has been sponsored <laughs> by Lens Mom. We are here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for allowing us. Thank you guys for drinking my mother. Come on, cause and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Lynn Moleko.